Hello out there in YouTube land. This is Jim, also known as Zany J, coming to you live from my living room where I am currently building a model of a small rural town. As you can see here, I have a small street lamp and I built this using a white LED, clear LED and some mechanical pencil bodies and just some basically some small wire that I could find and some hot glue. You look down there's a small vehicle, wooden vehicle there that kind of completes the scene and I'm currently in the process of making buildings as well as telephone poles and what have you. Like right there I have one that doesn't have any wires connected to it yet but I'm in the work I'm in the works on that. Right there's another lamp fixture by a large grain elevator that I built out of cardboard. Zoom out here you can kind of get a general idea of what I'm doing overall. Like right there I have another lamp fixture. Same process. And here's a building that I'm constructing. I've got some of the windows cut out already. I use a small Taylor's measuring tape for that. Trying to make it look as neat and realistic as possible. You can keep, as you can see, it kind of has that lonely urban three o'clock in the morning look to it. You know, pan out a little bit. There's an inner. There's a, just kind of regulated here a little bit. Got another pole that I put in place to sort of go between between the wires. And there's another lamp fixture. I did this one a little bit differently. I used smaller wire on that one and I just glued it to the tops and I ran that to this other pole a little ways west. find out where it's at. Okay, let's move out a little bit here. Yeah, there it is right there. This one I ran it to. And I've tapped power off of it to that other lamp that you saw by the, the on the west side of the elevator. So all in all, this is all I've done so far. Kind of wanted to do something like this for a while, I just never had the stuff that I wanted to do it with. Until I discovered, pardon the camera falling, until I had the LEDs that I needed. Come around over here, we'll look at it from a different angle. Sorry, the camera keeps tilting when I don't want it to. But anyway, here's a, a view from the west side, looking east. all the lamp fixtures there. Let's zoom in on some more details here. Building right there I'm thinking of using as a bank. I'm going to add another lamp fixture over here, between this box building and this box building in the back, is sort of an alley, alleyway fixture. It looks really cool when it's completely dark in the house. Of course I have to do it like this because it doesn't show up very well in the video. And there's the other side of the one fixture that I was showing you. Zoom out. You can see where it. You can see here where it comes up. It goes to that one, then taps off and runs to that one. And I even cut out a door in the elevator, as you can see right there, with my fingers pointing. And I took the cutout piece and put it on the inside to give it a sense of depth. It look like it's a partially open elevator door. 
I just constructed that rolling large pieces of cardboard and then gluing them with hot glue. Taking on a very realistic rural look is what, which is what I'm going for. I'm going to construct a large water tower about the height of the elevator. Out of standpipe, mind you, but rather one of those that has the old style stilts on it that runs like this, has the cone top on it. Mmm, Godzilla! <laughs> but this is what I've gotten done so far. Now let's look at it from the north side. Or the south side, I should say. And then we have the same lamp fixtures. Some LEDs for some reason glow a little brighter. So you can see that one there's a little dimmer than that one, but that's just the way they are sometimes. And there's that one on the far corner that has the T-post on the top of it, the T-shape to run the power to the other one. So it looks like a re like a more realistic looking. The type of wire I recommend using that on these is, if you ever decide to build one yourself, it would be the like old telephone wire. It's inside of a plat a rubber sheath. You can you can slip the end and pull it out, and then twist and tie and twist it together. It looks very realistic. It's very easy to manipulate and use. It's very, it's very accommodating. Up here we have the top of the elevator. Just took various boxes. And that's a photo right there of the, the object that I used to take the LEDs out of, which is appropriate. Back over here, of course, you can see my plant. There's that one wayward power pole that I keep knocking over every time I walk from my bedroom to the kitchen. But, you know. Then we have an aerial view of that one, the one lamp fixture. That's a small wooden van that you saw earlier from across the way. It's going to have that nice um, middle of the night, gloomy, humid summer night mood to it. Now I'm down here on the carpet to give a more um, ground level view of how it looks. I've taken the camera off the tripod so it's less annoying when I'm trying to pan around and look at everything. As you can see, it does look more realistic in scale. Pay no mind to the obviousness of it being in my living room, but it does have its, it has its charm though. Let's zoom in closely here. It really does have a realistic feel to it. At least I think so, anyway. Kind of gives you a feel of just some lonely little single street light, single stoplight town somewhere in the middle of nowhere. You can see the realism in the the lamps right there, from a distance, say, a block or two away. Just some lonely, empty street, where a street would be, rather. Let me zoom in a little more on the detail on the elevator door. This is what I was talking about right here. Kind of made it look like there's some depth, some dimension to the door frame there and there's a half open door. We'll go around over on the east side of things. I'm gonna zoom out like we're traveling toward it. Zoom. Come 
coming up from the intersection. But it's a ground level view of the lamp in that corner. And we're looking back down from the direction we came. And of course there's that one lamp fixture that we saw by the elevator. We're a little further out east now. We're kind of more of a ground level view of everything. Zoom back in on that lamp fixture in that building. It has more of a glare from being down on the ground. You can kind of see it. A little more detail there. Try to get the camera zoomed in on things. That one doesn't glare as much just the way it is. Like I said before, some LEDs just don't shine as well as others do. And looking back upward again toward the top of the elevator. Let me adjust the focus a little bit on that. Zoom out. And there's the top of the elevator again. So that's how it looks from the ground. And like I said, there's a space where I'm going to be putting Right in there. So I'm going to be putting the other lamp fixture between those two buildings. That dark space right there. So yeah, this is you know, just like I said, something I'm I've been wanting to do for a long time. I just got the wild hair up my ass to do it. And many of you are probably wondering how I'm powering all this. Well, I'm using some nickel cadmium batteries in this black power pack over here, just to the left of the one lamp fixture. They're rechargeable, so they keep going pretty good. And they're relatively inexpensive to buy. The power pack I used, I used it off an umbrella clamp that had a bunch of LEDs, which are some of these that I took out, as I before mentioned in the box on top of the elevator. It really isn't that difficult of a system to construct. It just takes a little patience and a little imagination, and you can come up with something pretty, pretty decent. Well, that's all I've got done so far, and I'll try to keep you updated as to my progress. And thanks for watching, and have a great evening, or morning, or middle of the night, or whatever.